Windows para Rivali Kefna. Oh yeah, who's ready for this? Now, Olimar I recognize, but... Do we have a... A pupper? That's exciting. And we're inside a house. Hmm... They're like, no, I'm afraid of dogs! Ah, uh, nice. Start the game off with some pot. Perfect. Great way to relax. Looks like our Pikmin friends have dispersed themselves amongst this home that we have since invaded. But it's okay because it's in the future and everyone is dead. Hooray! But they do seem to be a little distressed. Huh. Okay, so now we do finally have control of Olimar and our two-legged furry friend here. Now, our mission objective here, as you can see, is find the ship parts. This is meant to be a little bit of a midquel, at least this part of the section, between Pikmin 1 and 2. I wonder where they could be! All right. So we're going to learn one of our new mechanics, one of the probably most broken ones in the game. So this is Rush. Holding down X, as you can see, will build up a power meter. And then boop! There you go. Ceramic? No problem. And we are introduced to Red Pikmin. This is obviously a tutorial. 
Don't think too much about this. This is just the game getting you used to the controls, of course. Assuming you've never played Pikmin before, but... As veterans of this channel should know, this is Pikmin 4 of 4 for us. In reverse order, of course. We're gonna record in the log, yes. Now how to phrase it. Story of my life. There you go. Strange Pikmin behavior. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of these little logs that you can read throughout the game that are written in first person like this, or we will collect them later by other characters. So strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Yes. Good point. All right. So, as you can see now, this is a new mechanic, obviously having a dog, but this dog can be a a vessel for your Pikmin. Pretty cool. And it's really fun to just do this. In most cases, it will just free up a new area. In this case, it has freed more Pikmin. And we also have the ability to jump, which is really nice. And a boop! See ya! Okay. There's a lot of new mechanics that the game just really throws at you in, in short order while you're playing through this tutorial area. So don't get too overwhelmed or anything, viewers. It's not a big deal. Just take your time, have fun exploring. This isn't really Pikmin 4 proper, so just keep that in mind. This is almost entirely tutorial-based. So, you can take your time, you can enjoy just kind of skating around. More red Pikmin under here, a couple more under here, a couple as in three, which is two and one. Good math. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get as many Pikmin as we can get, and you'll see why in a few moments. But we will be making a, making our ascent in a little while, but we need more compadres to help even the score will say that. Maybe there's a little grumpus up top that is probably going to pose a little bit of a problem. Spoilers! Yes, yeah, so let's just continue our home invasion. Found you. Yeah, we're playing a little hide and seek. We'll call it that. This is just a fun little introduction. I think that the goal here looks like it's... There's 49 of them just... Dilly dallying. Game, how about you you back off, all right? Now Olimar has got his mind on his money and his money on his mind, trying to find those ship parts. Now one of the nice things is kind of in similar fashion to various Zelda games where you could have a setting to hunt for people or items. This will essentially kind of create a similar effect. But we're not done. We're not ready to do that yet. We're still going to go and pick up as many of our friends as we can. This kind of feels like the beginning of every like 90s kids movie where you're trying to assemble the team. There's a bunch of Pikmin here that are just having a good old time. Could those Pikmin be playing? Not on my watch. That is not how capitalism works. Get back to work. Back to the office. No more remote working for you. It's time for oppression. All right. Yes. Let the genocide simulator begin. I was talking about there being Pikmin behind... What was it saying? I don't remember. It's fine. We don't... I mean, realistically, having a good amount of Pikmin here is nice. You don't need to... You don't need a ton. Just enough to put it together. There's some Pikmin on top of this pillow. The game's like, do this thing, and I'm like, no. There's a lot of instances where I'm not good enough at games to really ignore that, and I still am not right here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I do like this, though. This is like a, uh, a bookend for a bookshelf. 
Very nice. Uh oh, viewers. There's a big baddie up here. This is a new enemy. Which is native to this area. I think it's only in this part of this area of the game. Maybe you got a little hungry and had snack, ate our ship part. Holy ship! Uh-huh. Well, obviously. Can't do much with those spikes. I don't like the fact that it shows you basically what to do. It seems like it's cheesing it a little bit, but it's okay. It's the tutorial in this game is, you know, for kids and dummies. But it's really nice as they... They have the classic Pikmin, uh... Enemy song, and, uh, boop! Oh, right into him. <laughs> Sorry, viewers, that wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. I'm just trying to show you what not to do. Here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves in... being mindful of the fact that not everybody is a pro at these games, and so we want to show you what not to do. You basically... Oh, okay. You basically just have to... charge up your rush. Oop, I lost one. In the tutorial. We're doing great. It wouldn't be a D-Mike Plays Let's Play without me completely botching the intro. There you go. So let's go and whistle our Pikmin back. This is not meant to take this long, I'm just being an idiot. So there's that. I don't even know what this guy's called. It should probably be called, uh, the... The D mic to fire. Well, no, what is nice is you can hold your rush. Don't be in a rush. And then just let your Pikmin go for it. If you wait and do it like that, it's surprisingly a lot easier. Weird, but there you go. Classic Pikmin 1 item the interstellar radio. Nice. After a lengthy, incredibly tough battle. Actually, the toughest battle in the game. Fantastic. But now, Olimar can call for help. And this essentially is the plot device that spells out the rest of the game. If you couldn't have guessed. But something will be afoot very quickly. Thank God, the giant wiener of the galaxy. Oh. A Pikmin ship crash landing? That's new. And it was. The end. Olimar is dead. Yeah, viewers, it's been a while. But I decided to come back with the banger. Last summer's hit. Pikmin 4. But let's not get this melancholy piano tune. And be sad in our heads. We've got a big adventure ahead of us. This is a game that immediately captivated me and I played it start to finish, end to end. So I'm going to share that with all of you. So let's go ahead and get started. The story mode. Rescue shipwrecked castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of Pikmin in this epic adventure. How's that sound, viewers? Does that sound good? I think so. Let's jump right in.
So everybody in the rescue corps is dead, and we have to find their corpses. So, very nice. <laughs> I love that this is what they do. They're like basically like, get to work! Everybody's dying! Okay. So, this is your create a character thing. Um, I'm feeling a little chunky today. So, I think this is going to be our guy. Let's see which of these faces makes the most sense. I think you can change this eventually. At least in certain formats. I'm liking that. Make sure you pick a good haircut. This one looks pretty awesome. And I want to be a little fancy. So how about a little contrast is nice. Let's go purple. Purple on top, purple on the bottom. Be my guest. No, our intrepid explorer will be the one and only. I thought about this long and hard. Captain Bingus. You betcha. Who's ready for Bingus? The Rescue Corps' newest officer, they recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their debt missing colleagues. All right, Bingus, get to work. We got some bodies to recover. Aw, shucks. Back to PNF 404 viewers. Four times a charm. Whee! Oh, yeah. This feels good. Welcome home, Bengus. Yeah. I like that they even gave your antenna the correct color. So, it seems like Olimar had a pup. Do we get a pup too? Who is this? Also, the walking cycle is great. Hello? Oh! Yeah. Welcome to the best character in the game, viewers. And, one that makes this game incredibly trivial. This is Ochi. This young... Loyal Rescue Pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. His first mission, yeah, we get a pupper. Boop! And the graphic has gone one step closer to filling in. You encounter the Rescue Corps' Rescue Pup Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Very nice. So, yeah, this is our buddy Ochi, who's going to be along for the ride. Ochi. What do you got for us, boy? Are they in the well? They're dead! Oh, see? That's the dead alarm. Someone in need of rescuing. Someone, aka one of the most annoying characters in the core. Hooray! Ochi, you think you can help us out, buddy? So there you go. Our first command is to have Ochi pull out this glob of dirt this is obviously just teaching you this mechanic you can do this whenever you see him in the future all the dirt has been removed that's right dirt McGirt let's go also Ochi's collar I believe is the same color as whatever spacesuit you choose yeah Who's ready for someone to hate? Unfortunately. Well, you best believe it. Ochi's got a new owner. It's a new sheriff in town. This is Colin, a.k.a. Butthole. From the same home planet as Ochi. As the Rescue Corps' comms operator, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with the wrench and annoying. 
There you go. That's our first rescue. Unfortunately. You met up with Colin. The rescue course comms operator. There's one down. Now where could the other rescue officers be? Hmm. Sounds like a certain Brittany that we know from Pikmin 3, perhaps? It's Bingus. Yeah, you best believe it is. Mm-hmm. Well. It's what I thought. What happened? Oh, no. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What a bummer. Thankfully, our spaceship that we're going to soon see is in much better shape. Eh, to find Lucky. Okay. A reward for saving Colin? A Nintendo sw uh, tablet. Where are you hiding that? Okay. Missions for Bingus? There you go. This basically just tells you where we are on the plan and what we've got left to do. Apps, I love that. Cheese sticks, potato skins. Now Colin's got me hungry. Yes, and we will be doing that. This game is all about efficiency. Working smarter, not harder. Capitalism for the win. Alright, everybody. Let's go. No time to waste. <gasps> there she is. It's a good question. I don't know. Alright. It's been a hot minute. I think I haven't played this game since it came out. So I don't remember pretty much any of this. But that's okay. It's a ground butthole! Pikmin 2, anyone? Man, it sure would be nice. Wonder where else we could go. If only there was another space that looked just like that. Oh boy. And of course Ochi is multi-purpose. Yeah. We do love diggers. Good job, Ochi. Take your time. Popping open a can of Prangles. Yeah. Mm hmm. I wonder if they're connected, Colin. What do you think? Is there a chance? Sure would be nice. Basically, how I do everything. Oh, Colin, you're such a baby. Ochi, let's go! Oh, yeah. The Burrow of Beginnings. This is our first cavern. Not too far removed from what Pikmin 2 does have to offer, but you will see some differences right away. The game is, of course, going to hold our hand through the entirety of this experience. Maybe. We can only hope. Do you think there's anything up here? So you can just make your way around here. As you can see, there are 
Some bulbore lava. Lava larva. Holy smokes, viewers. It's been a hot minute since I have played this game and spoken words. So you're going right for it. Uh-oh. Someone's in trouble. Captain. Look sharp, Bengus. Not looking so tough now, are you? Seems like she's going to need our help. Let's go ahead and break some pots. Because I'm feeling like it. Now, honestly, what you can do because of how formidable Ochi is already at this phase. Yeah. One and done. Boop. Really cathartic. Get on down here, you scaredy cat. I've become so numb. Everybody's got purple. Pretty popular color. Look at that, that dumpy face that Colin has. But yes, this is Shepard. She is the captain of our trusty mission. And as we're about to learn, Shepard has a bit of a way with space pups. Oh, you bet. The best. 99th Gen Rescue Corps officer, she was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues and dressing up and going to conventions as an animal. Er. Very nice. Two down. I also like to discover suspicious holes. Yeah, there's just so slimy, so much goo. Ooh, viewers, the goo is back. Bingus is the strong silent type. But I suppose... Only because I'm not trying to draw this tutorial out any longer. Our first app, the Rescue Journal. This is where you'll find advice left by the captain's past and present. Very nice. We'll look at that more in depth later. Sounds good. Very nice. Ochi is now our buddy. We'll see what sort of fun tricks and growth we can have along the way. Let's go, everybody. Get the heck out of here. No time to waste. Ugh. Well, thankfully, being the toughest cavern in the game, we have successfully completed it. Very similarly to Pikmin 2, but instead of water this time around, these are air vents that will propel us to victory. And with every loading screen, you get a little bit of a tip and trick. Hopefully this doesn't spoil anything in the process. 
There we are. We have emerged from the first ground butthole of the game. Excuse me, Bingus. Hey, we just rescued you. How about you back off? What's the point of having hands if I can't touch everything? There we go. Complete. That is Dunzo. Hooray! Like a little bit of validation from the captain. It's good management. Colin, that's going to be docking points for passive aggressiveness. The dialogue in this game is very plentiful and it is pretty good, so prepare yourselves for that. I will be, of course, mocking it every step of the way. Alright. Looking a little under the weather, though. And wiener shaped as ever. But we will check out the SS Shepherd in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Pikmin 4. And I'll catch you next time for more. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the YouTube shorts that I may be making for this series. Haven't decided yet. But in any case, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this new series. Bye.